So Rashad Bateman, he cleared up an Instagram post that had a lot of Ravens fans worrying like crazy. The Instagram post read as this. It said, uh, no matter how bad things are right now, no matter how stuck you feel, no matter how many days you spent crying, no matter how many days you spent wishing things were different, no matter how hopeless and depressed you feel, I promise you won't feel this way forever. Keep going and Ravens fans were looking at that like oh no is Rashad Bateman unhappy with the team is he unhappy with his role is he unhappy with his production and I couldn't understand why Ravens fans will feel that way because when I saw the post too I was thinking oh yeah Rashad Bateman he probably upset about everything that's going on or really not going on with him and the Baltimore Ravens because going into this season I felt like expectations were super high for Rashad Bateman especially for me because I've continued to say, hey, Rashad Bateman is going to be wide receiver one for the Baltimore Ravens. Even with Odell Beckham Jr., even with Zay Flowers, even with Mark Andrew, Rashad Bateman is going to be wide receiver one. Then Lamar Jackson, he went, he turned around and said the same exact thing. He said, oh, yeah, yeah Bateman, that, that's wide receiver one. Because I really thought that, all right, Rashad Bateman, we've seen the flashes when, when he's been on the field. We've seen it. We know he can do it. We know he can put it all together. But it's just a matter of him staying healthy. But... When you look at his numbers thus far, and I know it's still early, but they've been pretty underwhelming. Uh, he has a total of seven catches for 59 yards, um, and he's averaging 8.4 yards uh, a catch. Uh, and in this last game, especially, where Odell Beckham Jr. was out. So I was thinking, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Rashad Bateman, definitely. He definitely going to be able to contribute a lot more this game, but he only had one catch for six yards. So I even jokingly said it during the stream, like, uh-oh, hey, they better get Rashad Bateman involved or else he might request a trade. And, of course, I was joking, but there was a little truth behind that as well, in my opinion. And not truth that he would request a trade, but I just felt like Rashad Bateman may be a little bit unhappy uh, because he has a lot going on right now with him in the Baltimore Ravens in this stage of his career because this is big decision time uh, for the Baltimore Ravens after this year because this is the year where they have to decide they have to make that tough decision whether they're going to pick up or decline Rashad Bateman's fifth year option and while that is not the end all be all if a team really likes you if they're really feeling you and if they really want you to stay hey a lot of times they'll pick up that fifth year option they, they really will. Uh, if you are trending upwards with the team, if you are trending like, oh, yeah, this is a player that's going to be here for the future, they will pick up that fifth-year option. But if you're not, then a lot of times they will decline it. Uh, that's why with Patrick Queen, everything's in limbo with him right now. The Baltimore Ravens have said they wanted to re-sign him, but actions are going to end up speaking a lot louder than words. So we'll see what happens with that in the future. But with Rashad Bateman, when he posted that, um, it had a lot of us wondering and worrying. And then there's, I know there's going to be the crowd that says, oh, but it's just social media. You guys are looking too much into it. What are you talking? No, 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 no. It's 2023. This is the NFL. Players have continued to express exactly how they're feeling so much more through social media. Whether they put up a verse to some lyrics of a song and then fans catch it and be like, oh, oh, I know what that means. I see what he's saying. And then some, a lot of times players will deny it. Oh, no, it was just lyrics to a song. It wasn't nothing. Nah, we know. Whether they put up a meme or they put up uh, these quotes like Rashad Bateman put up himself. And th th he did shut it down, though. He did shut it down because Bobby Trostick, shout out to Bobby Trostick. Uh, he had actually posted what Rashad Bateman put on Instagram. He posted it on Twitter or on X, whatever you want to call it. And he said, Rashad Bateman's IG story this morning. Hope he's all good. So Bobby Trostick was wishing him well because, again, the story did look concerning. And Rashad Bateman caught wind of that. And he said, y'all are tripping. I'm more than good. Just motivation to everyone to keep on going. And, hey, th he, that could be true. That could be true, because again, it came straight from Rashad Bates. So just, just giving everybody a little motivation, just no matter what you're going through, to keep on going. Now, a lot of times when people are going through something, they can find relief and they can find help in helping others. That, that's something that holds true and it will never not be true. Sometimes if you got an issue yourself that you're dealing with, if you end up helping somebody else, that can end up making you feel better about whatever it is that you got going on. So I really do believe Rashad Bateman is frustrated. I, I know, again, he did say, hey, I'm more than good, just motivation to keep everybody going. And that's fine. That's great. But I, I really do think that he may be a little bit frustrated because who, who wouldn't be? Rashad Bateman is an NFL wide receiver. Rashad Bateman, even for um, 
for for his career. He he's not just an NFL wide receiver, but he is a first round draft pick uh, of the Baltimore Ravens. First round draft pick at, at wide receiver, and you know wide receiver, what's their job to do is to catch the ball. That's their job. It's to, it's to catch the ball. It's to make plays for their team. And when there's a lack of you making plays for your team as a wide receiver, this is why I hate sometimes when people call wide receiver divas. Because when they, they get frustrated, if they're not getting the ball, then they're getting frustrated because they're not getting to do their job. So I, I, that, that whole, oh, he's a diva. Oh, if he ain't making catches, he get upset. Oh, that's not a team player. No, it's not that he ain't a team player. And this is just about receivers in general, not Rashad Bateman. But it's just that the rece- they want to make plays. That's what they're supposed to do. So why why get upset with them when they get upset because they can't do their job they can't they don't they're not contributing, but I, I could definitely see if Rashad Bateman was upset, and then a couple of days ago he also tweeted this he said that negativity ain't gonna work on me this year we're gonna bounce back we're gonna bounce back so, and that was of course after that loss that overtime loss to the Colts now somebody had they had reposted that and they said man listen get yourself together. Learn to get separation, then you won't face any backlash. And oof, as an NFL player, it's tough. It's tough because, like we always talk about, their public, their jobs are put on public display twenty four seven. Their jobs, their performance, their salary. There's nothing that's private about their job at all, and they know that because they get into the business and whatnot. They 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 play their entire lives to get to these moments, so they know what goes on. But at the same time, that still doesn't make it any easier. So. You have fans that'll come at you sideways, that'll talk to you any kind of ways, that'll talk to you sometimes even, maybe even worse than coaches do. Well, I don't know about if they talk to you worse than coaches do. Well, some fans will. But anyway, so this fan, he, hey, man, listen, get yourself together. Learn to get separation, then you won't face any backlash. So basically telling Rashad Bateman how to do his job. This fan isn't in the NFL. Rashad Bateman is. This fan didn't go to Minnesota. Rashad Bateman, did. this fan wasn't the first round draft pick. Rashad Bateman, we go down a list of stuff, but... He was telling Rashad Bateman how to do his job. And Rashad Bateman responded to that. See, this is why I feel like Rashad Bateman is probably a little frustrated right now. Because when players get to responding to fans, especially fans that's critiquing him and whatnot, that's when it's no bueno, baby. It really because we and, and just with the Baltimore Ravens alone, we've seen this before. We've seen this with multiple players, and, and it's it's not a good look because that lets the fans know, that lets these these, the, these fans know, like, oh, we could say the right thing, and it's going to get to them. They're going to respond. They, we've seen it with Lamar Jackson. We've seen it with Patrick Queen. We've seen it with J.K. Dobbins. We've seen it with others, too. And it, it's tough because you, you can only turn the other cheek so much. You, don't even, you can only get that notification and look at it and then put your phone down so much. These, they, they're people too These players They are people too They're not emotionless They got emotions They got feelings too. Sometimes them feelings take over But anyway When that fan Again he said Man listen Get yourself together Learn to get separation Then you won't face any backlash Rashad Bateman responded He said You're so bored and lonely But I got you fam But I got you fam See And He didn't even need to respond But again It's easier for me to say It's easier in our shoes To be like oh, Rashad baby, He shouldn't have responded to that He should have just ignored it but again, these players, they got emotions too. Uh, and then that fan, he responded again. He said, I'm actually a fan. Just want to see you do your thing. And it's, with, with that, it's like uh, Rashad Bateman said, mm hmm. So then that was that. That was the end of it with Rashad Bateman responding. But I, I feel like he didn't gain anything from that. He didn't gain any positivity from that whatsoever. And not that every interaction that you have with somebody is going to be positive. We know that. But it shouldn't have even got to that, in my opinion. He should have just kept it moving. Because, again, you know, fan, a lot of fans will be very, very disrespectful. It's okay to critique this player, that player, whatnot. Talk about how, how you feel they should have done, what they could have done better and whatnot. That's part of being a fan. But a lot of fans will take it to a level of disrespect. And as a player, it's... It's tough to look the other way because, especially after a loss, you know, fans, they will pile it on. So social media, again, we always talk about it. It's a gift and a curse all at the same time. But we hope that Rashad Bateman, that stuff goes better for him professionally. Personally, too, if there's anything going on with him personally, hopefully not. Um, But he said he's good, so we got to take his word for it. But I, I know, I just know, like, we just know when Rashad Bateman, especially going into this year, I'm sure his expectations for himself were a lot higher, too, uh, than what 
what's been happening on the field. But his time is going to come. His time is going to come. His, his, his games, are, they, they on the way. They on the way for sure. Uh, it's just a matter of time. We know Rashad Bateman, too, it seems like he's been on somewhat of a pitch count. A little bit. A little bit. Not, not, not too much, but a little bit. But with Rashad Bateman, yeah, I still expect him to do his thing. And when he does that, oh, it's, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Because we, we keep seeing the flashes. We know the flashes are there. Now it's just about putting it all together in a season and making it happen.